everybody and thank you for watching. My name is Sandra and I'm guessing that if you clicked on this video, you are someone who wants to become more animal and environmentally friendly in your self-care practices. So in this video, we are going to talk about some very easy changes that you can implement in your lifestyle that are going to reduce your impact on our beautiful but unfortunately endangered planet. Um, this video is supposed to be as underwhelming as possible. So the tips that I'm sharing here are just a few and they are super easy and painless to put into action. Uh, the most effective uh, change of habits happens when we take it step by step. So I encourage you to just take one or a few things from this video that you find easy and fun. And then once you've implemented them and became comfortable with them, um, you can move on to the other and more advanced options. So here I have a few products that I'm going to show you that are considered more sustainable. Most of them can be found in regular stores, which is a more environmentally friendly way to purchase them. But if you're looking to buy them online, some of the companies send their shipment in recycled or bamboo packaging, especially if you're buying from a brand that is exclusively green. Um, however, I would like to add, even though we are talking about purchasing product here, uh, the most sustainable way to do this would be to just finish using all the products that you currently own instead of throwing them away, as this would unnecessarily create more waste and garbage. Once you've finished using your products, you can try to reuse the package or you can just try to recycle it. So the first product that I want to talk about are these washable makeup remover pads from a very cool brand named Bamboozy. Um, there are two kinds. These are really soft on the skin and these are a little bit harder with a rougher texture um, and with more power to scrub off hard makeup. Um, they also come in a black color because once you start using them, the makeup stains are not going to be easy to completely wash off. So if you'd like them to remain uh, clean looking, then you can go for the black option. These took me a while to get used to because they do feel different on the skin. So you're not quite sure from the beginning what kind of work they are doing, but they are actually quite effective. Um, they are also thicker and a little bit more dense than the regular cotton pads, which actually makes them absorb more product. But if you're someone who doesn't use a lot of makeup, then just one side of these should be enough for you for the day. Um, before switching to these, I used to dispose of three to four of the regular cotton pads per day, um, which is actually a lot of waste. So if you're someone who uh, wears a lot of makeup on a daily basis, then these are going to be a great choice for you. The best part about getting these was that in the package I found a little thank you note from the brand, which was actually made from fertilizer. Um, so all I had to do was soak it in the water until it dissolves and give it to my plant. Um, some of the green brands tend to do these kinds of gestures, which makes it especially fun to order from them. Um, they also came with this cute little laundry bag, so when you start running out of them, you can just collect them in the bag, close the bag and throw it in the washing machine with the rest of your laundry so it doesn't get lost among the other things. Like all of those socks. On to shower gels, shampoos and body lotions. This one in particular is a shower gel from Lush. It was not dermatologically tested on animals. It doesn't contain any animal ingredients and it's packaged in recycled plastic, which is all very nice. But the best part about it is that once you've done using this product, you can take the empty packaging back to Lush and have it refilled with the same product. Um, Lush does this with most of their liquid products, including makeup, which is really awesome. Um, additionally, you can try to replace your liquid hand soap with a natural paper packaged soap bar or you can replace also uh, your shower gels and your shampoos with a natural uh, shampoo and body soap bars. Um, and in that way, you don't only get rid of the plastic, but you also stop releasing harmful chemicals into the water. 
Now regarding makeup, my favorite topic, the makeup industry has been growing super rapidly in the last few years and a lot of new brands have emerged that don't test their products on animals, they don't use any animal ingredients, but what is even better is that due to the public demand and the changing standards for reputation, a lot of the already popular brands have switched uh, to more sustainable and animal friendly practices. Um, if you're someone who enjoys doing makeup or cosmetics in general, or whether you're doing it as a business, this is a great opportunity for you to support the environmental movement and contribute to the demand for more sustainable uh, products. Um, especially since most of these products can be already found in your closest beauty and drugstores. If you're asking, okay, but how can I know which brands are cruelty free and which are not? There is a very easy solution for that too. There are a few online sources which you can come to for guidance every time you want to purchase some makeup or cosmetics. These sources have been recognized as global authorities on this topic because they put incredible amounts of effort into doing the research, uh, collecting information directly from companies and regularly updating the public on uh, each company's cruelty-free and vegan status. Some of these companies are Ethical Elephant, Logical Harmony and Cruelty Free Kitty and I highly recommend checking them out because they contain extensive lists of cruelty free and vegan brands. An additional way you can become more environmentally friendly with your makeup and cosmetics is to just be a little bit more conscious about the number of plastic packaging that you purchase. Um, there are a few ways you can reduce uh, the number of packaging that you buy, which I'm going to talk about now. Uh, the first way would be to, uh, for example, always go for the wooden pencil, which can be sharpened with a regular sharpener, um, instead of the plastic eye and lip pencils. As you see, this one is entirely plastic. It can be, um, the product can be rolled up uh, by turning this part here around. Um, and unfortunately, this one can't be recycled because it contains mixed materials. Um, this one on the opposite, um, it does contain the plastic top, so that's a bad thing about it, but you still reduce the number of waste, of plastic waste, because once you've sharpened uh, the whole pencil, then you have nothing to throw away anymore. Another way would be to always choose glass packaging instead of plastic packaging where you can. Uh, for example, foundations. Uh, most of the foundations are uh, packaged in glass, so this is a good thing, but if you're about to buy um, some foundation that is packaged in plastic, then I recommend going for the one uh, in glass. Uh, because actually these little bottles can be reused with a product. I also recommend choosing multi-use products instead of products that are only meant to be applied on one area of your face. Um, for example, this cute little thing by Milk Makeup can be used as blush on the cheeks, but also as lipstick and also as a wet looking eyeshadow. Um, I also have this amazing palette by Makeup Revolution, uh, which contains bronzer, contouring powder, setting powder, and highlighter, which is a much better alternative than if you were to buy uh, four different products in four different plastic containers. Um, I must also say that this is super useful for when you're traveling, uh, because you can just put this between your clothes, it's super flat and uh, thin, so it's like it wouldn't even be there. Um, I also have this blush palette, and of course I recommend buying large eyeshadow palettes um, instead of individual ones, just to reduce the number of plastic packaging that you have. As I said in the beginning of this video, I do not wish to make this video overwhelming for you guys, so I'm just going to show you one more product, and this would be the makeup brushes. Um, the most important thing to know about the makeup brushes is that they are not made from real animal hair. Um, so whenever you're uh, in a store buying brushes or ordering them online, make sure that they are made from 
synthetic hair. Um, this is actually also much better for applying makeup because real animal hair soaks up more product that you put on it. Um, Additionally, yes, makeup brushes are made from plastic and metal, but the good thing about them is that they last for a very, very, very long time. So you can have them for even 10 years. Some of them I've had for eight or nine years, I would say. They last for a very, very long time. So it's very unlikely that uh, you're going to throw away any of them. That would be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found all the information useful. Let us know in the comments which ones of these strategies you're planning to try out at home or if there's any of these that you're already doing. Um, you're also welcome to contribute with your own recommendations for more sustainable self-care practices. Keep up the good work in protecting our planet and make sure to share these tips with your friends and family. Bye-bye.